We're going to take those stakes out, load them with explosives, and shoot it. In four years, this massive cave will be New York City's Second Avenue subway. The tracks are going to be where those two tunnels are. But the team of engineers investigating this site isn't quite ready for their own four and a half billion dollar job yet. They're undergrads at Bucknell. It's really just interesting to see what actually goes on as an engineer. James Colvin is part of a program to get minority college students to stick with the sciences. African American and Hispanic students drop out of engineering majors at a higher rate than whites, both at Bucknell and nationally. On faculty and staff, we don't see the, the color faces that give us the inspiration that people out there who are just like us can actually go and do the job. The STEM workforce, that's science, technology, engineering, and math, is only 6% Hispanic and 6% African American, far below their presence in the overall workforce. Blacks and Hispanics also have much higher unemployment rates than the national average. We need more scientists, need more engineers. Watch yourself. STEM workers make 26% more than their non-STEM counterparts. To come here and see a face of color who's in charge, who's a construction manager of this whole project, just makes me want to work so much harder. Engineering firm Parsons Brinkerhoff is managing the 2nd Avenue subway project and partnered with Bucknell to mentor minority students. Why does this matter for their future? These are great jobs. They're high paying jobs. They're professional jobs. The, this is the bedrock of the middle class. I see it as a fundamental fairness issue. Well, what are you going to do after you graduate? Maria Clave is president of Science and Engineering College Harvey Mudd. The school has had tremendous progress fixing the gender gap in its student body, but not the minority gap. We're about 7% Hispanic, which is not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible for a science and engineering school. We really suck with African-American students. Hayden Hatch is one of the few African-American students here. I can't really think of a scientist who was African-American who I saw as a role model, really. Re not one. Not one. And although he is a minority here, he's gotten something critical, support. Being in multiple research labs, uh, both here and off campus, has sort of raised my confidence and showed me that I can succeed. President Clave wants more minorities here. If we leave out big sections of our population, so whether it's females or African Americans and Hispanics, if we don't have diverse teams working on problems, we don't get nearly as good solutions. We're going to fall behind. We're going to fall behind. For now, it's about changing the landscape, both figuratively and literally. Poppy Harlow, CNN Money, reporting.